reaction can you expect after inoculating with an A? The pioneers of helminthic therapy, who started doing this over a decade ago, took very detailed notes and realized that every time they inoculated, it followed the exact same pattern. And then when they compared notes, also realized that they were having the exact same experience. So the hookworm timeline was created as sort of a general guide to give first-time treaters an idea of what to expect, and a lot of times what they experience is exactly what's described in the guide, or maybe it's just off by a day or two. But for other people, they could also have a completely different experience, so it really just depends on your immune system, and the only way to know for sure is to give it a try. But assuming you do follow what's outlined in the guide, here's what you can expect. On day one, most people experience a skin reaction, but in some cases, people won't experience any sort of skin reaction at all, but they'll still realize based on other symptoms that the inoculation was successful. However, if you don't have any sort of a skin reaction, it's often a sign that the inoculation wasn't successful and you need to try again. But just to be safe, it's best to wait for a few weeks, see if anything happens, and if not, then you can order a replacement dose. Assuming you do have a skin reaction, you can expect it to be itchy, red or pink in color, and have tiny raised bumps at each entry mark. It typically won't itch consistently, but you can expect it to pop up on and off over the course of the next few weeks. A lot of people try to count the number of bumps or entry marks in order to see if all of the larvae made it alive, but that's not really reliable because sometimes a larva will start to enter in one spot and then change its mind and move over someplace else, and sometimes you'll get two entering from the same area. However, personally, I find that when you look closely, you can see sort of a red spot, but not a raised bump if it tried to enter there. And a lot of times when you have two entering in the same spot, you'll have sort of like a double bump side to side. So you can kind of tell the difference. Unfortunately, no correlation between the severity of the skin response and the response to helminthic therapy itself has been seen. However, one phenomenon you should be aware of is that with future inoculations, even done in different areas, it is possible that the site of previous inoculations will have sort of a slight flare-up. The reason for that is that when the larvae are entering your skin, they shed the outer layer of their skin, and your immune system then later recognizes those proteins and sends out antibodies to attack those types of cells. So what you're actually experiencing is your immune system's reaction to a perceived threat rather than the larva themselves causing this reaction. You can also expect progressively more intense skin reactions up until about the fourth or fifth inoculation, at which point they become milder again. Comments from others have been, I got almost no itch with the first dose of hookworm. As I understand it, the immune system isn't prepared for that first intrusion through the skin. But by the second dose, your little soldiers are alert and they converge quite intensely on the migration site. My second, third, and fourth skin reactions grew increasingly severe. My fourth is still itching and blotchy after three weeks. Nearly drove me crazy. My response increased for the first few. My fourth was the worst. Oozed for 10 weeks and left a noticeable scar. Subsequent inoculations have gotten easier. My seventh quit oozing by five or six days and was completely healed in two weeks. For me, the fifth was by far the worst. So it was a real relief when my reaction to the sixth dose was vastly smaller. I always get a swollen, runny, angry rash. It takes a couple months to disappear. My last one, number six, gave me practically no itching at the time. Definitely worked, though. Looking back at my own notes, for my first inoculation, I was really surprised that the moment the bandage touched my skin, it started itching. It was sort of mixed feeling between stinging and itching sensation, but I could scratch it through the bandage, and I was just happy to have that sign that the larva had made it alive and the inoculation was successful. 
Only thing I noted that was a bit strange was that when I removed the bandage, it was stuck so firmly to my skin that it sort of left a bruise in the area where the glue for the bandage had been. But who knows, maybe it was just a really strong bandage. I also noted that I had been having headaches at the time and right after inoculating, that headache built up into a migraine. With my second dose, I noted that um, my bowel movement was a bit uncomfortable, probably due to inflammation around that area. Right around the 24 hour mark, I had a nice deep nap, feeling like I was in a really good mood, occasionally a bit of gassiness, and then a mild headache that later got worse. With dose three, I noted mild occasional itching that didn't start until 12 hours after I inoculated. About 20 hours later, my stomach was feeling a little funny. With my fourth inoculation, I noted that I was itching briefly a few times on and off throughout the day. And with my fifth inoculation, just about 48 hours ago, it was pretty much the same thing. It didn't really start itching until, I wanna say at least 10 hours later. And I tend to get an itch where I give it several scratches and then it's fine for the next several hours. My experience really isn't typical, but I believe that with the second inoculation, it didn't come in as strong because it was really cold outside and the NA are sensitive to cold, so they were probably just barely hanging on there. And then for the third, fourth, and fifth inoculation, I was taking LDN, which can treat a lot of different things, but for me, it worked to stop my chronic urticaria. So it would only make sense that the LDN is sort of diminishing the skin reaction that I'm experiencing. However, if you're not on LDN or you are, but you're still itching, I'm going to cover ways to treat the itch in another video. Fast forward a couple weeks and now, first of all, I've noticed that the bumps typically don't appear until about the second day. For dose one, for the first day or two, I was using peppermint oil as deodorant and because it was so close to my armpit, the oil would sometimes get on the entry marks and it did kind of sting. But then after the first couple days, it was clear that they had closed up and it no longer stung. It then stopped itching and started fading after just four days. And by day six, it was completely gone without a trace. Dose two stopped itching after eight days and the swelling from the bumps had gone down. Dose three was an interesting one. It itched for the first 30 days and then it stopped. And then on day 31, when the entry marks weren't itching, I had an itch on the opposite leg at the exact same spot, which was really strange. And then on day 35, it started itching again and continued until day 40. Now that I think about it, I've actually felt an itch on that same spot on that opposite leg with my current inoculation a couple times over the past couple weeks, even though it's not opposite my current entry marks. With dose 4, the swelling from the bumps had gone down after 14 days, even though the entry marks remained visible for months afterward. And I also noticed at the same time that there was a faint rash where the entry marks from the second dose had been that I actually only noticed just because I was moisturizing and I felt the texture. But then a few days later, on days 18 and 19, it actually did itch a bit. Dose 5, my current one, for the first 5 days, I noticed that when I felt the urge to itch, it would come on suddenly and I would have to scratch it right away, but it felt just like really soothing to scratch it in a way. The only problem is, I think because the skin on my foot is so thin, it actually ended up becoming a bit sensitive and that's not a problem I've had inoculating in any other areas. So now I think it's safe to say that maybe the top of the foot is not the most ideal place if you're gonna be scratching. Typically I get the urge to scratch about once a day and give it one good scratch, but after about day five, it just didn't feel urgent anymore and I didn't have that nice soothing feeling. And I'd say even when I do scratch it, the need to scratch is definitely waning so that I'm barely scratching it at all. The entry marks are still visible and I wouldn't be surprised if they're there for a while. I know some people have mentioned light scarring, but based on past experience, I'm confident that mine will eventually fade away. 
This information can be found on the wiki on the page's hookworm timeline under day one inoculation and the hookworm inoculation rash. So check back soon and until then, happy itching!